Good morning, ESM. I'm Nico. And I'm Nico. So Ty and I were trying to hopefully find a Valentine for tomorrow on Match.com, and I clicked on your profile when I saw it. So first of all, the first problem with that is I don't even have a Match account, and why are you on my profile? 2006 ESM graduate Staff Sergeant Ben Applebaum was selected as the 2019 U.S. Army Reserve Military Photographer of the Year. Applebaum is a former member of the White House Communications Agency and serves with the 982nd Combat Camera Company Airborne. Lawmakers in New York are proposing a bill that would provide public elementary schools with silent panic alarms. There was a push for the bill at the state capitol on Wednesday, which joined advocates as well as family members of one of the victims from the mass shootings in Parkland, Florida. The alarms would be used in cases of emergencies such as an active shooter or lockdowns, which would link to a police station. Senator D David Carlucci states, What we saw in Parkland was a fire alarm going off, and it caused chaos. What we know is we need to keep it orderly and silent and make sure that the first responders can respond as quick as possible. Scientists have recently discovered a rare disease in a dinosaur fossil dated from 66 million years ago. LCH, which is a type of cancer, was found on a duck-billed dinosaur fossil and then compared to a human vertebrae with the same disease. When put through a high-resolution CT scan, the tumor seemed to be a match, providing that this rare and fatal cancer has been around for at least 66 million years, if not more. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Spartan Basketball Universe crowned its first ever champion, Mike O'Brien. Mike defeated five competitors to win the King of the Ring event and become champion. If you see Mike carrying the Universal title around, give him a quick congrats. If you haven't already signed up and would like to compete for Mike's title, come see Mr. Bly or email him at rbly at esmschools.org. Senior Variety Show will be meeting today for another script writing session after school today in Mr. Russo's room, B44. So as we all know, tomorrow is arguably, for the sorry single people out there, the worst and, mo and whole most pointless event celebrated across the world. But for the proud couples, out there is arguably the most enjoyable event celebrated across the world. Just the thought of being single sends some others over the edge. While for some, it's the nervousness that takes over when asking that special person to be their valentine. Leading to a stressful headspace and a low self-esteem. Which includes the fear of being rejected. Anxiety.org has a few suggestions with how to deal with being single on, during Valentine's Day. Seek out social activities, go out and meet people. Possibly ask a friend to set up on a date. And another tip they have is to take care of yourself. Treat yourself to a nice dinner and go to the movie with a friend. But in my opinion, life's too short to be worrying about getting rejected. So if you're listening, go out there and get that girl or guy to be your Valentine. You got it. Ty, what do you know about getting girls? Absolutely nothing. Today we will have a high of 34 with scattered snow showers. Tomorrow is going to be very cold with a high of 14. Saturday we will have a high of 27 with cloudy skies. Sunday and Monday will be mostly cloudy with highs in the 30s. Tuesday there will be mixed rain and snow showers with a high of 28. And Wednesday we will have a high of 28 with cloudy skies. I'm Gabby with your weather. Valentine's Day was first celebrated in the 5th century. Legend has it, St. Valentine signed a letter from your Valentine to his jailer's daughter, whom he had befriended and healed from blindness. Another common legend states that he defined the emperor's orders and secretly married couples to spare the husbands from war. That's 1,500 years of corny gifts and love letters. Some of the worst with gifts you can give your Valentine or get from them is sloppy cards, bad flavored chocolate, and even hygiene products. It sends a bad message. Personally, personally, the best gift you could get me is a hug and you know some clothes. 
That sounds pretty good. I wish I had someone to spoil me. Don't we all? Someone please just spoil us. Hey John, can you get can you find somebody for us? Hey, Nico and Ty, don't worry, I got you guys. I'm the master at getting girls. Uh, anyway, now for sports. The Lakers beat the Nuggets last night in overtime 120 to 116. Anthony Davis led the Lakers with 33 points and LeBron had a triple-double with 12 rebounds, 14 assists, and 32 points. This is the last NBA game until the All-Star break. Good luck to America Carhartt, Chris Bailey, and Tyler Tellerico today. They will be representing ESM at bowling shootouts today. Each one of them will have a chance to make states. And I'm John with Sports. St. Valentine is also the patron of St. Beekeepers. Maybe you'll get stung tomorrow. I can only hope. So from me, Ty, and everyone else here on The Morning Show, have a great day.